So Arkansas is banning black history. Students will not receive credit for taking the class. And in other news, the Blind Side movie was apparently fake. The NFL player was never adopted. Let's get into it, y'all. Hey y'all, welcome back to Receipts with Rail. And if it's one thing I'm going to do, y'all know I'm going to come with the receipts. So today we're talking about Arkansas and how they're trying to erase black history, y'all. That's right, you heard it. Not only are they trying to erase black history, the governor actually signed a bill to ban the teaching of black history. Students found this out two days before classes started. So all of the students who signed up for the AP African American History course found out that this course will not count towards high school credits. Now let's hear what the clown had to say. A little bit of controversy right now. There's an accusation that the Arkansas Education Department removed credit for controversial AP African American Studies course. Let me just read to you what the NAACP said and let you respond. They said the Arkansas State Conference of the NAACP is appalled at the recent decision of Arkansas Department of Education to make a hasteful decision at the final hour to do away with AP African American Studies. Is that really what happened there? Uh, absolutely not. And one of the things that we have talked about so much, and Dana, I think the point that you made a minute ago about the staggering numbers that we're seeing across this country, we've got to get back to the basics of teaching math, of teaching reading, writing, and American history. And we cannot perpetuate a lie to our students and push this propaganda leftist agenda teaching our kids to hate America and hate one another. It's one of the reasons that we put into law banning things like indoctrination and CRT. We want our kids to receive a quality education and we want to make sure that every student has access to it and a pathway to prosperity and that's exactly what we're doing here in the state of Arkansas. So y'all heard it from Miss Sarah Suckabee Sanders herself. She has banned any teachings of African American history. Now, she was talking in circles, so I'm going to tell y'all what exactly does this mean. What this means is there are many schools who still offer African-American history, many schools who don't agree with the law. But guess what? No matter what, if you still decide to teach that course, by law, it will not be counted towards high school graduation credits meaning any students who take African-American history will be essentially losing credits. And students just found this out two days before classes started. I swear, every time we make one step forward, it's like we take a thousand steps backwards. Texas just signed a bill last month to pass the National Hair Care Act where it's illegal to discriminate against people based on having natural hair. And then now we fast forward and Arkansas is banning black history. It just seems like this country never gets ahead. You have to ask yourself, why do they want to ban black history? This is just another tactic for politicians and colonizers to not admit that them and their ancestors are the reason why black people are so far behind in this economy. They do not want to take responsibility for the wrongdoings of how we got where we are today. You know, they love to paint the narrative of black men being thugs and black men being in and out of jail and white women being ratchet. And every time I turn on my TV, you know, no offense, but Sexy Red, Sukihana, those are the people that you see getting all the shine in mainstream media. And then they try to bury the real black stories, the real black people who actually made history and did something empowering in this country. They don't want to talk about that. And they don't want to talk about Tesla, Oklahoma, how black people actually went and created their own village, their own city, their own black Wall Street. And then it was bombed by the government because the government did not want to see us doing well on our own outside of them. They want us to need them. They want our people to be dependent on their economy. Okay, it's been plenty of times, Lake Linear, for example. I know y'all been hearing a lot about Lake Linear. Lake Linear has been trending um, in the news lately because a lot of people have been dying in that lake. And I didn't even know that a whole entire black city was buried under that lake. 
They built a lake on top of a black town with black people and killed all those black people. So time and time again, our people have tried to, you know, pull ourselves up by the bootstraps and we had millionaires, okay? We had millionaires in our economy in ancient history and they bombed every single successful black village. They continually find a way to unalive our people or mass incarcerate our people whenever we're doing successful and then have the nerve to turn around and call us lazy. Black Americans built this country and that's not something that they want us to know, which we already knew that. But what's dangerous is what they really mad about is their own children started taking those black American history courses and their own kids came home with questions. So that is the reason why they want to ban our history because they don't want to have to answer to their kids like, dang, mommy, why did our people do this? In other news, we got to get into Blindside, y'all. We got to talk about this movie because this was one of my favorite films growing up. This was a classic and it touched a lot of hearts. But according to Ower, one of the main characters portrayed in the movie, he said it was all a lie. So in case y'all hadn't had a chance to check this movie out, this film was based on a book that was written by Michael Lewis, and it tells the story of how Ower, a homeless teenager, was taken in by Sean and Leanne, a wealthy white couple, and they helped him pursue his football career. Now, the interesting thing about this movie is they portray Ower as an illiterate teen. Uh, when they met him, they made it seem like he didn't know how to read, y'all. He ain't no one plus one child. They made it seem like... That man didn't know nothing when he met them. And then when they took him in, his life just completely turned around. That was the role that was portrayed. You know, that white savior complex. Well, Orr is coming out years later to say that none of it is true, y'all. For starters, he did know how to read and write before he met them. So that part of the film was untrue. But he allowed them to go along with it. Just for the exaggeration of the film, the producers and everybody else convinced him that it would bring in more viewers. He didn't have much say-so in the movie. That's something else that I found out. The actor who actually portrayed him said that they never even met each other until after the movie was filmed. They met each other like uh, during some type of autograph signing. So Quentin Aaron has spoken out. This is the actor who portrayed him. He said that he feels like he should have been more involved in the movie. They should have had him on set. He should have been able to meet him and that maybe the movie would have been more realistic had they met each other and had he really known his true story. But if y'all ask me, this was done intentional. Like how y'all going to make a whole movie directed and film it without the person who the movie is actually about even being involved? Like that's crazy to me. I didn't know any of that. And excuse me if I'm pronouncing the name wrong. I don't know how to pronounce these people's names, child. They don't never pronounce our names right. But um, years later, Or found out that the two Oes, he found out that the two Oes um, had received millions of dollars in conjunction with this film compared to his hundreds of thousands. So he hired a lawyer to look into all of this and he saw... Like, okay, y'all done made millions of dollars off of my story. He wasn't happy about that. Now, once the lawyer started looking into the finances of the film, it was uncovered that he was never even adopted by these people. Allegedly, according to Ower, this whole time he thought that he was adopted by this family. And he just recently found out through an attorney that he was never even adopted by them. What he signed was a conservatorship. Now, it makes you wonder... Why didn't these people adopt this man? Y'all was taking care of him ever since he was young. He was a teenager, a young teenager when y'all met him. So why did they never officially adopt him? And why did they wait until he was 18 to have him sign a conservatorship and made him think that it was an adoption? Which, I mean, you can't adopt an 18-year-old to my knowledge. But anyway, the reason why they did not adopt him is because an adoption would make him have access to their family heir. So if anything was to happen to them, you feel me? Like life insurance or whatever, he would get a portion of that money. But by them having him sign a conservatorship, they have access and power over him. 
and his finances, but he can't touch their finances. He can't touch anything that belongs to them. That's why they did it that way. So allegedly, they took advantage of this man, led him to believe that he was a part of their family when it was nothing more than a business transaction. Now, this is the story that's being told. We will see how everything plays out in court. Once again, this is all alleged. But Twitter is going crazy, y'all. Twitter is trying to say that Sandra Bullock needs to get her Oscar revoked. Now, I think that's ridiculous, y'all, because at the end of the day, that woman was hired to do a job. She did her job, and she executed it well. She didn't go back and research these people's stories, and especially if Or was going with, along with the story, why would she have any reason to doubt it or think that it was false? So, Twitter, y'all need to pipe down, or X, I don't know, what, what y'all calling Twitter nowadays, because y'all know he changed the name. But leave that woman in her Oscar alone. She deserved it. Um, this is really interesting to see how all of this is going to play out. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Hit that like button. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about Arkansas removing black history classes. Let me know. Do you think that Ower knew that he wasn't adopted? Do you, or do you think that they tricked him? Do you feel that they should have given him more for the movie? Comment down below and let me know y'all thoughts. And I will see y'all actually later on today. Because I got more footage and um, commentary to upload y'all.